Hello everyone, welcome to a new quick edit video, this time with a few C6 from Iceland. And on this shot I want to apply some stronger orange teal colors. So let's jump into it. You can see I'm going to use Adobe Lightroom for the basic post processing. Actually I think most of it will be done in Lightroom, so let's go. For the profile I'm going with Adobe Landscape, since this will give me some more base saturation and let's change the white balance to daylight. That already slightly boosted the warmer color tones, which I quite like. Now let's bring back some detail from the sky by dropping the highlights. Much better, then I can also drop the shadows just to get some contrast going on here. Okay, and to not risk any underexposure I'm increasing the blacks. Alright. I might as well add some contrast and some texture and clarity. Okay, looks much better already. Now I do want to have a very saturated image, so I'm going to boost the vibrance just like that. And then that's it for the basic adjustments right there. Let's continue with the local adjustments. There actually isn't much going on. I do have a gradiated filter for the sky, which I want to darken slightly by bringing down the exposure. Not too much, just a bit, so we get a little more detail from the clouds. And then there's also one radial filter for the foreground. Here I just want to have more structure in the wave and I can do that by boosting the texture quite a bit. This really, really helps here. So let's apply it like that. And that's already it for the local adjustments. Then let's do some color grading. And I'm going through the HSL panel first, starting with the hue. I'm going to drop the yellow hue. And I'm also dropping the blue hue, which of course will give me some more teal color tones in the water and in the sky. That looks pretty nice. Now for the saturation. I want to boost the orange tones here and at the same time I'm dropping the yellow tones and I think I also want to drop the aqua tones here just like that. Now in the luminance tab I could play around with the aqua luminance. It just depends if I want the wave to be brighter or darker. I think a little darkness does fit quite nicely just like that. And then let's do the split toning. Here I'm just going to change the midtones and the highlights. And for both of them, I'm going to apply a warm color tone. So let's see, I want to go somewhere in the yellow range for the midtones. But that's a bit too much saturation for me, so I'm going to drop it slightly. All right, then for the highlights, let's do the same thing somewhere in this range and a little bit of saturation. All right, that's pretty subtle, but I like it. Then there's one more color grading thing I want to do. And that's all the way down in the calibration tab. To get those orange teal color tones a little more visible, I can play around with the blue primary hue. So I'm going to drop it. And of course, I can also boost its saturation here. Nice. That is the editing for the Lightroom part. I do have a few more pictures from this shot with different waves, as you can see here. I want to add some of the other waves into the other image. That means I need to synchronize the settings of the edited shot. And I'm just doing that by selecting all the images down there in the thumbnail menu and just hitting the synchronize button right there. And with those three images, I can now go to Photoshop to combine them. So this right here is my base image. I like this one the most. So let's take a look at the other ones. Here we have another huge wave in the back, which is not helpful to me. So I'm going to close this one right away. But here we do have a wave crashing over the rocks in the foreground. So I think I want to try this. So I'm just copying over this image to the other one. And now I'm 
just adding a black layer mask on top by holding down the alt key and then let's pick up the brush tool set the foreground color to white and now i'm just brushing over the rocks right here all right that's better now i can also get rid of this bird flying through the frame by simply brushing over this area all right perfect then i'm merging those two layers since i'm done with the blending of those two images and now i want to continue doing some other things i think the sky is a little too chaotic for me so i am going to make a sky selection by going to select and click on sky this should work quite good as you can see and then i'm just hitting ctrl c and pass it right away as a new sky layer and I'm holding down the control key and click on the thumbnail. Go to filter, blur and motion blur. Now I just want to add a little bit of blurriness to the sky with the horizontal motion blur. Just like that. That looks much cleaner. And again, I can just merge everything. At this point, I think I want to check the Nick collection plugin. And first off, let's use the polarization effect just to make the colors look a little nicer. I'm going to boost the strength here and it's already looking much better. Maybe we can add another filter. I'm going to try the pro contrast filter and add a little bit of dynamic contrast here. And that should be helpful. So let's apply it like this. All right, awesome. Now, I'm not a big fan of this black mass in the bottom right corner. So I'm just going to crop it a little bit. And I hope this way I can fix this area. Perfect. All right, and finally, let's add a vibrance adjustment layer. Here I'm bringing down the vibrance and I'm going to invert the layer mask by hitting Ctrl I. Again, then I'm using a white brush to paint back in this adjustment layer because I think the sky is just too much. All right, perfect. Then that's it for editing this image of those sea sex from Iceland. I hope this was interesting and helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you very much for watching this video.